police, I'm sure, here are heavy handed. And he I can hear gunner. people yelling. What's happening? Yeah. They're trying to get these people out of this car here, sweetie. And I don't know why, but it's looking kind of weird. Oh, God. Oh, he's just an old man. There you go. There you go. There you go. Please, can someone tell me why you've gone to this? We will talk with you. Luis, are you okay? Luis! Luis, are you okay? He's fine. Why you came to all this? Please, tell me. This, 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 this person, this, our youngest daughter, has been treating us like crap. Okay, we can you give me a favor real quick? Yes. Okay, I'm going to get this under control. What I need you to do is I need an ID from you. I need an ID from you, okay? I understand that there was a domestic here. Someone hit someone. Yes, I need my daughter. You hit your daughter? Yes. Okay, crime was committed. To domestic abuse. We came in here to investigate it. He refused to give his ID. We tried to give it to. He got combative. That's why. That's why he got put in this position. Okay. But how, why he's he's he bleeding? We've got. I'm bleeding. All right, that's me. But I've got medical here. They're come check him out. Make sure he's okay. But right now I need your ID. Yes. I need her ID. Okay. Yes, I need to record these also. Well, I'm recording. I understand that. What I need. Is your, as I need your ID, okay? Just stay with me. He's incredible. You will see that that man doesn't look for trouble well, at all. Right now, I need at your ID. All. Okay? Yes, I will give you my ID. I will give you, Papa. Ma'am, listen. Y'all need to go ahead and step back. Where's Here. your car? Yes, I'm, I'm, just... I'm step back. Where's your, where's, where's your car at? It's there, uh, turning on. Okay, let's have a seat right here. So we just pull this. You all let, five men, five men. We're gonna let medical check training hitting that guy. Listen, just because our daughter hey, made listen, bad decisions. Get getting yourself in. Papa, is he okay? He doesn't move. They got him. They're gonna take care of him. He doesn't move. You kill him. You are killing him! He's getting medical attention right now, I just need to stay over here. You are killing my last one! We're gonna take care of their medical, okay? I need to... Please, somebody tell me that he's alive! He's alive! Here, stay over here. I need, I need to know that he's, he's alive! He's like, Please! Alive. Well, hey, listen. Take a deep breath. I need you to look at me, okay? Take a deep breath. Stand up. Oh my god. Oh my He's okay. Medical's gonna take care of him, okay? That's why they're here to check on him. Oh my! Okay? Get your ID. For sure he's... I... Listen, he said he's breathing. Get your ID. Focus on me. Take some deep breaths. Medical's here. They're gonna take care of him, alright? He's back! Here he is! Get that fool! Oh, 
I was the Minister of Defense Coordinator. My job was to man, train, and equip the Iraqi Army in Al-Anbar, Najaf, Karbala, and Northern Bavila provinces. And I can tell you right now, well, somebody had the great idea to get rid of the Iraqi Army, so when we rebuilt it, we did everything we could to make it as strong as possible. And I'll tell you right now, Homeland Security would kick their butts in a week. What's happening here is we're building a domestic military because it's unlawful or unconstitutional to use American troops on American soil. So what we're doing is we're building a military. My best friend, who's a SWAT officer in Nashua, who came to Iraq with me to train the Iraqi police, sent me an email with a picture of him in the media on the streets of Watertown, Mass, wearing the exact same combat gear that we had in Iraq, only it was a different color. And what, the way we do things in the military is called task organization. You take a command and then you attach units to it in order to accomplish the mission. What's happening is Homeland Security is pre-staging gear, equipment, consistent. What they're trying to do is use standardized vehicles, standardized equipment. I saw a picture in the Boston Globe during the marathon bombing where there was a state police officer, actually there were two officers, they both had identical helmets, flak jackets, weapons, everything I wore in Iraq, only it was all blue. The officer on one side had a big patch on his back that said Massachusetts State Police. Another officer next to him, his patch said Boston Police. And so what we're doing here, and let's not kid about it, we're building a domestic army and we're shrinking the military because the government is afraid of its own citizens. The last time more than 10 terrorists were in the same place at one time was September 11th, and all these vehicles in the world wouldn't have prevented it, nor would it have helped anybody. So I don't know where we're going to use this many vehicles and this many troops. Concord is just one little cog in the wheel. We're building an army over here, and I can't believe that people aren't seeing it. Is everybody blind? That's all I'll say. <laughs> Passionate issue, but if you would please, please, for the first, first time, I'm asking you uh, not to, to boo or clap. Or any other. I'll take any questions. Any questions? Thank my wife always told my kids there's always free cheese in the mouse trap. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Fitzgerald. 